doing pretty well on the road. Where should we mobilize the transaction to? Should we sell t-shirts? Should we copy Jigga and, and Puffy and sell alcohol? What should we do? And I start thinking about where's our value? What, what categories do we have value in? Outside of alcohol, outside of, um, what else is popped and sold? Headphones. Headphones. Okay, that was an innovation. That was, that was the first time we saw hip hop leverage its value to a, a hardware product. But if you ask me, you looking like, I don't disrespect to nobody. Kylie and Kendall just put their face over Tupac and Biggie. Mm -hmm. Those is pop icons that are reaching for hip hop authenticity. It's a, it's a slew of that all through the world. So to me, that means hip hop is the most influential culture in the world. If you look at streaming, the number one genre in streaming, see streaming is a, is a representation of who's listening. Sales and all that can be manipulated. You can't really ma manipulate who's listening, who's tuning in. So when you look at that chart, hip hop at the top of that streaming chart by far. Hip hop over indexing on every streaming platform. What that say? I mean, hip hop is the most influential culture on earth. That means why would we leverage our influence for alcohol companies we don't own? When the alcohol company need hip hop to sell their alcohol, why would we leverage our influence to clothing lines that we don't own? When the clothing line need hip hop to sell the clothes, what's the difference? We can't build companies. We can't build infrastructure. We just we tap dance and got talent. I don't believe that. So thinking about that, we we, we build and we strategize. All right, it's a thing called Moore's Law. Anybody know what Moore's Law is? You don't know what Moore's Law is? No. You was, you was on point. I thought you would know that. <laughs> nah, it's, it's a tech shit. So basically, Moore's Law is the reason it's a new iPhone every year. Bingo. Bingo. It's two parts of it. It's the actual real estate that it takes. It's like the size of the chip going to shrink every 18 months. It's going to cut in half. So if you had a 7-inch chip that could process that a gigabyte a second, next year it's going to be a 3.5-inch chip that processes at 2 gigabytes a second. And the year after that, it's going to be a double whatever that shit is and double, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's called Moore's Law. So basically, because of that, things get cheaper and cheaper and more powerful and more powerful every year. That has an impact on business, that has an impact on everything. So, I brought that up for a reason, we're going to touch on that in a second, but we talk about all these things going on and how that impacts me as a hip-hop artist, how that impacts Idris as a software and hardware designer. It's basically a question of what's the business model, because people still love music, people still consume music, but the whole model of how to sell it has changed, as well as a ton of other products and services. So. You know, we're looking at Spotify, we're looking at Tidal, we're looking at Pandora, we're looking at Apple Music. You must work for Apple. Uh, nah, but you're looking at everybody different opinion on what the new model is going to be. And it's all different. Pandora got a different model than, than uh, Spotify. They all got different models. But then again, like if you look at Yeezy and, and a couple of, even like Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine, um, even Jay-Z, what they have done, what they influence as music and content creators. They, they, they switch what they sell. So, to bring it back to myself, all right, recently on June 17th in LA, I opened up the world's first smart store. Anybody heard about that? Right, yeah, it's called a Marathon Store. And basically, um, I was on schedule to open up this store as a, a store that was like a flagship for our brand which was basically our, um, we was betting on what I just described to y'all about what we should do, where we should put our cash registers, what's going on with this digital revolution, should we sell music? The store was our bet. It was what I thought was the right thing to do after I collected all this information. I wanted to offer an experience and surround people with products. I look at like Disney and I look at like Hello Kitty. Anybody heard of Hello Kitty or like San Rio? Yeah. All right, so all of them, all of those, um, Businesses are, they, they got their value from content. Mickey Mouse was a cartoon. Hello Kitty was a cartoon. We make content. 
I make music, we make videos. It's no different than Mickey Mouse. But Walt Disney was smart enough to understand the value. And he created a world, Disneyland. And he surrounds you with products. He gave you an experience. You go get on rides. It's branded. And you buy a $15 piece of pizza. Some $12 uh, ears. You buy, you spend $600 by the time you leave. Yeah, for sure. And so, outside of the, the overpriced part of it, it's a format, it's a model there that can be scaled to hip-hop. And it ain't been scaled to hip-hop. And if you look at Hello Kitty, Sam Rio, a $5 billion company that sells products that have been branded through content. I'm gonna ask y'all, what's the difference between Hello Kitty and a rapper? What's the difference between Hello Kitty and Kanye West? Kanye West makes content, the content inspires the world, and he says, buy my shoe, and you buy the shoe. What's the difference? What'd you say? Maybe, I, and I was hypothetical, but probably, I'm sure Disney got more money to market than Ye, but my point is that, why, as a hip hop artist, don't we think like we're as valuable as Walt, I mean, as Mickey Mouse or as um, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog or as any one of these characters that have been branded through content? Because if you look at the value of Mickey Mouse, it's not just two prong. You know, he's not just on cartoons and um, going on a tour. No, he got multiple categories that his brand is leveraged across and sold across. And so this is what we think hip hop should be focusing on right now. We should look at the categories that haven't been disrupted and that haven't been taken over and, and infrastructure infrastructure has been built in and we should attack. 